I'm Carla, and this is Carla Coates. Today, we're going to talk about how to avoid half-finished projects and how to combat motivation loss. So I've totally been there. I spent a year teaching myself to code before I changed my major. And if you go to my GitHub account right now, there are at least 15 to 20 half-finished projects. And it was really frustrating because I would, you know, start something cool and then never finish it because I just wasn't motivated. I'd just say like, okay, cool stuff is over. Uh, Let me go do something cool and new. And it took me a while to realize why this kept on happening. I think about six months in when I was just kind of ready to give up that coding wasn't for me. I wasn't going to be a software developer. At the time I was studying business. So, I mean, I had a career path ahead of me, but I wasn't really a fan of it. I thought, you know what? I think I just suck at this. And that's kind of when it hit me hard that I'm just not retaining this information. And that's why I kept uh, losing motivation and why all of my projects were half finished. So this was, I think, the summer of 2017. I was at an internship and I had some free time on my hands. So I decided to stop working on React projects, stop working on Angular, Ruby on Rails. I was too scatterbrained. I sat down, I went to W3Schools' website, and I did their uh, web development tutorial. I did every single step of that tutorial. I did not cut and paste anything. I wrote it, or well, typed it, all down. And I realized then that the next time I went to try building a website that, wow, I actually understand HTML and CSS now. So. What I'm trying to say is it wasn't that I was a crappy developer or just not understanding it. It's I wasn't practicing the fundamentals enough. That's why I was frustrated and that's why I kept leaving projects half finished and that's why my motivation went to crap. So this is what you can do to avoid half finished projects and regain your motivation. First of all, go back to the fundamentals. If you are learning web development, go back to HTML and CSS and make sure that you know every single tag, you know all of the CSS attributes, well, maybe not all of them, but you know them well enough that you know how to import a font to uh, your new your CSS file. You can change the colors of everything. You understand Flexbox, Grid, Bootstrap, so on and so forth. Because when you have these fundamentals down, then when you move to a framework like React, it's going to be so much easier because you're only really learning React. You're not relearning how to actually write the front end, (laughs) the CSS and the HTML, because all of that's going to stay the same. Also focus on like really basic algorithms and really basic leak code and hacker rank problems. So how to reverse a string, how to traverse a JSON, a Python dictionary, so on and so forth. Do these problems on HackerRank until you don't need to look at any solutions guides or any explanations. When you can do them yourself without any help, that is a huge stepping point and that's gonna help you so much in the future. Also, if you're really interested in full stack development and that's what you're learning right now, I would recommend, if you already know your HTML, CSS, you have that down to the T, then Practice making CRUD applications. So create, read, update, delete. Those are the most basic functions that most uh, full stack websites or projects are going to need. And if you have that down, then adding additional logic, adding additional features is going to seem so much easier to you. So another huge tip, and this one was hard for me to acknowledge when I was going through this, is build smaller projects. Everything you build does not have to be an earth shattering viral success. It's okay to say, you know what? I'm building a weather tracking app where I'm making an API call to a weather website or weather API. That's totally fine. No one's going to judge you for having a pretty basic portfolio site or a pretty basic Python calculator. That's okay. The goal here isn't for you to, you know, have the next coolest startup in Silicon Valley, the goal is for you to learn and to move forward and to, you know, complete your career goals. And it's okay. 
And when I say building smaller projects, try thinking of a project where you know, you feel like you know every single step of the way. You know, you know, from how do I start it? How do I put it on my GitHub? How do I, um, how do I make the API calls? How do I make the front end? How do I render this and how do I host it? If you have a project that it doesn't matter how small it is, it could be a website with dog pictures. But if you feel like you know every step of the way, challenge yourself and build it. Doesn't have to be earth shattering, but just build it, do it, show it to your friends, get feedback, and then go build your next project. Your goal should be to retain content. So soon you're not gonna need to Google simpler solutions like how to use a flex box, how to um, you know, find the nth element of a string, how to use regular expressions, so on and so forth. That should be your goal. So once I knew these fundamentals, I felt so much more, I guess, empowered. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but I felt like I knew what I was doing and I knew, you know, if someone said like, hey, can you help me build this? I said, yeah, I've got this. I know exactly how to do all of these steps. Another huge tip is, and this is something that pretty common, um, pretty common concept is you want to be able to know something well enough that you can explain it to someone else. If you can teach it, you've more or less mastered it. So take time to explain it to other people. If you had problems, uh, let's say, you know, backend development, writing APIs, uh, launching uh, local development servers, find someone else who's struggling and explain it to them. That is going to make you a better developer, you a better communicator, and overall, it's going to help you out tremendously. So. Just remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. I don't think anyone turns into a coding savant overnight. And if someone claims they do, they're probably not telling you about the hours upon hours upon hours they put into becoming a great developer. So it's okay to have half-finished projects. It's okay to get frustrated, but you need to find the steps to move forward so that you aren't frustrated so that you do finish your projects and that you feel like, wow, I can do this. So I hope you found this advice helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, I'd love to answer them. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter too and like and subscribe for more content.